that is spasming because she was showing off. Today we're gonna do a depotting video and with but it's spasming. I'm Jess. That's Wit. I'm Wit. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm Wit and I'm Jess with Beauty Pot. Today in Beauty Pot, we are going to depot palettes. So I have Jessica's helping me. So I'm an assistant. Yes. So I have a couple. I have some Urban Decay palettes, and maybe, they're mostly Urban Decay for some reason because I was going through a phase when I first started makeup and I bought a lot of Urban well, Decay palettes. Urban Decay. And they're, it's really good. So I have I've gotten a lot of the, like they were their special edition palettes that I got on clearance, and I never use them. Some of them I've never touched. And they just sit in a drawer, and it's one of those things, and it's to save space, and then also maybe get rid of some colors that I won't use. I want to, I wanted to create a custom palette with the intent, kind of like it's a mix of like shop your stash, and you just create your own custom palette. This one's really cute, though. And I, but I found this at so the Z palette at Sephora, and I originally thought these were more expensive. This How one was, was that? A, this one was thirty one. Typically, they have the traditional one that's this size, that's the black and white stripe, is twenty eight. And this is the extra large, and this is the exact same price as the extra large one on Z Palette's website. So they're they're the exact same price with the exception of this one. It was a couple dollars more because you can see it's pretty. It's cheetah print and it's got like a coral, like the coral trim. And one thing nice, I thought and it has like the Sephora logo on it. With these palettes, with the Z palette, you get they just give you thing that you know oh, I don't read those and then you get a little I don't really use this I thought this was cute it's what just is that for? it's to help lift the palette oh. uh, so you get like a little like a, this is supposed to kind of help depot it's got the Sephora logo and it's got like a little thing that you can help scoop stuff out and then you get a whole bunch of magnets so you get like little if you can see you can get round ones and little square ones so I have these and then I also have the other ones from my other palette that I didn't use all, and since I should have smaller in case I needed more, I brought those. And you can also buy extra one of the extra ones of these, like off Amazon or whatever. So this is what the palette looks like. So it's empty. I like these. I created a custom palette for my um, some contour stuff, and um, I really like these because it's something if you have palettes that are like this one where like. I hit like some serious pan on, or this naked palette that I've had forever. You can see it has been well loved. I made up some colors I don't use, some are empty, so I just want to depot them and then stick them in a palette here, and then I'll keep this in my bathroom, and then I will just use the custom palette. So we're just going to show you there's two different ways to depot. So typically, if you have something that's in a plastic container, um, I have one that is like that or you also have your car you have something that is cardboard um, So typically what I use um, I don't use the little thing that comes This little thing I don't really use that what I always like to have is if you're using something if you're using these plastic ones um, obviously um, We're gonna pop the tray out of here, but to get the metal pans out you can use a straightener and it's hot and it's hot and it's on so you'd use a straightener to actually melt melt the pan, and it's better than when we first tried it, started to do try this, like a year year and a half ago. It was and we mess. were we were using a lighter and burning stuff. <laughs> yep, it was it was fun. It was fun. And then everyone um, likes to burn stuff. But the cardboard ones typically I you may not you probably won't have to melt anything. I like to have an exacto knife. Um, I was it may also work better to have an actual nice box cutter. Um, or and then I have this. It's just a, like a spatula to mix like your foundations that I got, but I thought I don't use it. I use my fingers, so I use this to depot and oh, then to pry it. Yeah, like. and then also if you're using the straightener, I I found it has worked really well. If you have a clipless curling iron and you have one of these like heat protectant gloves, it's about time to pull like a Michael Jackson and put it on one hand and then because it's pull, gonna get really it's hot. gonna get hot and then you can pull it off. Easily. So you don't burn yourself. And if you're like under 18, mm -hmm. ask mommy and daddy. Yeah, ask someone to help you. That's an adult. And That's also fine. it's nice to have wax paper, but which I don't have, have wax, wax paper, paper. And I forgot to bring my wax paper. And I didn't want to buy more wax paper. So we're just going to... We're going to make do. We're going to just use what we got. Yeah. We're going to do this one mm -hmm. first. 
the mm -hmm. you want to be very careful especially with an exacto knife if you're gonna if you can see kind of it's gonna be really hard to see there's typically a lip that is always around like there's a lip here um, and it may even be good to use a steak knife too um, but there is a there's a lip that's all the way around that you could stick But you just want to kind of like pry it down. Well, it's nice to have two people. Did I get it in? Yeah. Sweet. Aww. It went all the hard work. It's okay. But it, yeah. but it popped it. And yay! Got it. Whoops. Wit got it. Oh, she broke See, the I broke the black, which is okay because I didn't use the black. I really like this brown though, so. That's what we're aiming for. You want to be careful. Like, I probably should have popped it with a knife on the other side, but it's okay. I don't use black eyeshadow. But, so you want to kind of take, you're going to take the empty pan once you get it out. And then you typically, it works better to have wax paper. And you just stick it on the... Straightener for like 60 seconds. Yeah, like you just want to stick this on the straightener. Let it melt. Oh. Oh. Oh, can you see? It's kind of starting to come it's out. It's lifting. Guys. <gasps> Yay! I kind, kind of, of broke applause. it. Typically, when I did my MAC ones, it was a lot easier. And you do want to be really careful. Really but as you can see, it broke the pan. This is probably the only color I'm going to keep. Right here is this one. It just melted and the glue came off the bottom. And you can either um, just use some rubbing alcohol and the glue will come right off. And what's nice, you get these little magnet squares here with the double sided sticky tape. They're so little, too. Yeah. And then you just take the tape. Can me do it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Got it. So then you take the adhesive backing and then you just stick it when you have your pan. Ideally this would be clean, but I'm not gonna clean it. And stick it on. Stick it on. Do that. Like and maybe so. you kind of press it a bit. And then you have your magnet on the back. And then you take your Z palette here and you just stick it in. One down. A good bajillion to go. Yep. So if you have any favorite colors, I find this is because I really liked this color. Obviously I used a good chunk of it already, if you can see. But then you can stick it in a palette. I'm going to use this one instead of this one that I originally showed because there's six in here. And there is only three, but how you'll do the cardboard ones is going to be the same. This is just a little one from the bomb that I got green eyeshadow um. on. So my finger's stuck in it. But normally what I do here, that you, if you can kind of see, this is cardboard. So I just try to sit, I just try to pry the base of the cardboard, which I've already tried on this one. And then typically I use something that's like this. Um, and you just stick your cardboard and just stick it in there. Yeah, you wanna you wanna work. You wanna this I have already started to do this one, so half of it's already done, but you wanna be careful when you do this so you don't break your eyeshadows like I did on this one, but this was a cheaper palette and I didn't necessarily care about it. So you can kind of see where it just starts to lift. You can see it's sliding pretty easily. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you want to get wherever the, the cardboard piece, you want to get this piece off of this piece. And then now the then you have the little the cardboard, the tin, so then you have to be careful. And then I do just try to get the paper off so this is all okay well that was really easy. never mind they pop right out or not one so oh, at least that one did yeah and Jeez, it did that break. scared me and this one here 
You can use your exacto knife or a knife because it's thin. I actually really like this color. It's a good transition color. Yeah, that color is great. These are just kind of glued to paper, so I'm trying to be careful. So I like this green too. Just cut it out. Probably with these, you can, it has a glue that's right here. You can probably melt it and get it off. I have the three colors. This was a little bit easier of a palette to do, but um, some are harder, some are more difficult. You just have to be very careful. Paper is easier. And so then they have these little round, I like these little round ones that you can just pull and then pull the little stick thing off and then you stick them on the back and then I like to press them down. I may try to chip like some of the extra glue but once you stick that magnet on there you can't tell. And then you have your round and then you can just stick your palette so that you cannot see and you can just stick your colors in your palette. So you can create a custom palette with your different colors. Now I'm going to go depot the rest of them. The rest of them. Like I tried to do like one metal one Typically, I find it's easier to use the straightener method for the metal ones. Sometimes it can be tricky. You have to be, to be very careful and take your time. Um, I find it a lot easier to do the cardboard ones where you can just, because it's cut, you're not dealing with heat or anything. And like these, once I got them off like the backing, they popped right out of this. And then this is a great way for me to where I can take all of my palettes that I don't use and take the color. Some colors I may not use, so I may set them separately in like something else to see if there's something where if I could buy a cheaper or do something with them and set them aside. If there's a color I won't use, I'm probably not going to keep it because it's wasting space. Maybe a color Jessica likes where we can create her a custom palette. Oh, yay. So <laughs> I really like these. These are not ideal for traveling, so I would really only use like if I have any like my the Balm palette or my Lorac Pro palettes or any palettes that I want to keep intact that I only use every that I would want to possibly take traveling or leave in a bag, I will not depot them because these are not good for traveling because it could become because the mag if they if they're I mean it's if you're going on a road trip you're fine. But if you're going like in a plane and it hits hard, the magnets probably will pop off and you'll have a whole bunch of expensive makeup. That's busted. broken. And that's a bad day and we're upset if we break makeup. If you like these videos, don't forget to give this a big thumbs up. And if you want to see more of us, don't forget to check us out on Facebook at Like Beauty Pop or on Instagram at Insta Beauty Pop. And as always, we post videos on Tuesdays and Fridays. And if you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, guys. Bye guys.